Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door boot seal in a Frigidaire washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a number two square bead screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a zip tie, a pair of side cutters, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new door boot seal, a pair of spacers, and the instruction sheet. The door boot seal flexibly connects the washer's outer tub to the front panel, preventing leaks. The main reason for replacing the door boot seal is if it's damaged by sharp objects like nails and screws left in the pocket of your clothing, causing leaking. We need to take the top off. Using the number two square bead screwdriver, unscrew the two screws at the back of the top panel, pull the panel back slightly, and lift it off the washer. Pull the dispenser drawer out, press the tab down, and remove the drawer completely. Using the number two square bead screwdriver, take out two screws on the sides of the dispenser and the third screw on the left side. With the same screwdriver, take out the two screws that hold the control panel on the top, one in each corner. Leave the panel off. Disconnect the wire plug at the control panel and take it away. Disconnect the large white wire plug on the top right. Open the door. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry the outer boot clamp starting at the bottom where the spring is. Remove the door boot seal off the lip and tuck it inside. Close the door. Tilt the washer back and place the support under the front. Using the number two square bead screwdriver, take four bottom mounting screws out. Remove the wooden block and put the washer down. Another three number two square bead screws removed at the top of the front panel and then you can lift the panel off and away. Push out and remove the top light. Using the side cutters, cut the zip tie and pull the inlet holes out of the boot seal. Peel the boot seal at the bottom off and insert the flat blade screwdriver into the opening and then remove the spring clamp completely off the top. This is the old door boot seal next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Now we need to put some liquid soap 
into the groove for easier installation. Spread it apart and put some soap in there. Then do it again, do it again, and again. And put it like in uh, five, six spots in the groove. And then we need to spread it around. So I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. You can use anything you want. You can use the Q-tips. Or if you have a thin finger, you can use the finger. And I'm going to wipe the extra off. And we're ready to install it. All right, please pay attention. That little slot on the top, if you can see that, that where the arrow is here. This goes right over this tab. Then we're gonna put it all over the lip. Be patient, it might take quite some time. Use both hands from outside and inside to push it over the lip and then final push and it's on. You heard the click. And now we can pull it, see if it's in the groove completely. Don't go too hard because there's no spring on yet. And now there's something that uh, probably takes some time. We're going to have to put this inner door boot seal spring clamp into the groove all the way back by the top, starting at the top. And work it around. Stretch the spring. And then install the spacer. Right, so stretch the spring, put it in a groove. I'm going to jam it here on this side and continue stretching the spring into the groove. Do the visual check. Make sure the spring is in there. And then we can remove the spacers. Pull on the seal. Don't go too crazy. And right, now we're going to put in the inlet hose into the port on the boot seal. I push it in all the way. Okay. And now we're gonna secure it with a plastic tie. Using the side cutters, we're going to cut off the extra. Now we're going to put the uh, light in. For better, easier result, you can probably put a little bit of soap in there. Liquid soap. Okay. Put the hose into the retainer. Bring the front panel and install it on the side posts. A 
and secure it at the top with the three number two square bit screws. Lift the front of the washer onto the support. Secure the bottom of the front panel with the four number two square bit screws and then remove the wooden block. Open the door, pull out the door boot seal, and then we're going to install it on the outer lip. To install the front clamp, put it into the groove with the spring at 6 o'clock. Then uh, grab the loop, grab the loop with the pliers, pull on the spring, stretch it, and install the clamp into the groove. Make a visual check, make sure it's inside, and also that uh, the boot is all the way on, and you can pull on it. All right, now we can close the door. Connect the white wire plug at the top right. Bring the control panel, connect the plug, and install the panel. The top edge goes first. Then we're going to push in the bottom edge. All right, now we're going to put screws in. Secure the control panel with the two number two square bit screws, one in each corner on the top of the panel. The dispenser screws are different from the rest of the screws. The one which goes in the corner is the common screw. Install the two number two square bit dispenser screws on the side of the dispenser. Slide the dispenser drawer in, press the locking tab, and push it in all the way. Then install the top panel. Place it on less than half inch from the front panel and slide it forward to lock. Secure it with a couple of number two square bit screws. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.